Do you have darker or lighter patches on your skin? That's a common pigmentation disorder. Here are causes and tips. Color of skin, eyes and hair is due to a pigment called melanin. Some areas of skin might have too much melanin, causing hyperpigmentation. Other parts might lack pigment, causing hypopigmentation. Typical hyperpigmentation marks are age spots, also called lentigos, due to age or sun exposure. They look like brown spots. Melasma is caused by hormone imbalance. It might appear during pregnancy or because of medicines and birth control pills. Melasma usually affects face with brown patches. Freckles and birthmarks depend on genetics and are the most common pigmentation disorder. Post-inflammatory pigmentation looks like dark or red areas caused by inflammation problems such as acne and dermatitis. An example of hypopigmentation is vitiligo. This is caused by an autoimmune response where the immune system destroys melanocytes, the cells that produce melanin, causing lighter skin patches. Hyperpigmentation is a continuous process that needs daily treatment. The first step is to protect skin from sun, always. Over the counter there are many topical lotions and creams that help to lighten dark patches and spots. Physicians can also prescribe retinoids and depending on skin response, they can perform pills and laser treatments. The ingredients used against hyperpigmentation are tyrosinase inhibitors. Tyrosinase is an enzyme needed to produce melanin. By inhibiting tyrosinase, these ingredients prevent the formation of melanin. Here are some of these ingredients. Hydroquinone is effective against age spots, melasma and freckles. This ingredient is however banned in Europe because it might cause skin sensitivity, it might be a potential carcinogen and when taken orally it might cause blue dark spots called ochronosis. In USA, hydroquinone is allowed when applied topically with a concentration up to 2% in over-the-counter creams and up to 4% with medical prescription. Azoleic acid, used to treat age spots, melasma, freckles, acne and rosacea, is considered safer. However, it's effective as hydroquinone only at concentration of 20%, which needs prescription. Over-the-counter creams can have azoleic acid only up to 1%. Kojic acid, used to treat melasma, freckles and age spots, can be found in soy. Kojic acid is unstable to light and air, so avoid products in jars. Companies might use kojic depalmitate as it is more stable, but there is no scientific proof of its efficacy. Vitamin C, used to treat melasma, freckles and age spots, is found in many veggies and fruits and is a potent antioxidant. It is unstable to light and air, so cosmetics companies prefer to use more stable forms. Here are some stable types of vitamin C. Pause the video to read details. Exfoliants like alpha-hydroxy acids do not prevent melanin production, but they do promote cell turnover, where old damaged cells are peeled off, allowing new healthy cells to replace them. Both exfoliants and anti-inflammatory ingredients are used to treat post-inflammatory pigmentation. Hypopigmentation as vitiligo can be treated in several ways. For instance, with cosmetics and skin dyes, with topical corticosteroids, with light treatments, for example, light box for large depigmented areas and laser for small areas, with PUVA, which is UVA exposure, plus a medicine called Psolarin. In extreme cases, surgery could be an option. And the pigmentation is used when only small pigmented parts are left, while the rest of the skin has been depigmented by vitiligo itself. You can find more info and sources in the info box. Remember, this video does not replace the opinion of a dermatologist or other professional. Thanks for watching!